divided by eight, nine years your money will double. So if you can push it to make a nine percent every year, so eight years your money will double for you. And they disregard what kind of product you are choosing, method you are choosing. As long as you can manage your money to produce very, very beautifully, then your money will double, double quickly. So let's see some people like a, like a VC world, right? They normally have a, and my husband is a VC by the way. So normally they want your money to double, triple, four times, or even 10 times in six to seven years. That's their window, right? Let's see if you want to make the money double in seven years. So that means you have to get 10% annual return about, right? So if you want to be faster, see, divided by 24, three years, your money will double. So that's why to me, this is the valuable mathematics you can easily pass to your children even. You say, honey, if you want to make your money double, remember Zero 72. If you get that number of return, divide it by the 72, divide that number, you will get how many years your money will double. So I teach my children when they were five or six. Now they are 13 and 11. So anyway, so just teach them. So it will be very, very beneficial. So they are very money sensitive. Not like a not nice or anything, but they know how money really play for them. They do not waste money in a very uh, effective way. So they are educated. They know how to, uh, how to treat their own small pocket money very well too. So today, we're going to define the money in three pool of money. So first one is taxable, and then tax deferred, and tax free. Tax advantage, that means we do not pay, pay tax anymore. So whatever tax money we get before landed up in our pocket, or in our bank account, they have to be washed, either taxable now, or tax later, or tax, they have to be defined. So basically, let's say I got 100,000 salary, or 10,000 salary every month, let's say, make it simple. And all your money will be deducted by your, you know, income tax, right? Either social security income, you know, all those uh, items are taken away, and then they will lend it to your bank account. That's called taxable. But some people say, you know what, I don't want to pay all 120,000 taxable, so I want to defer some into my 401k, you know, if I have company 401k account. Or if I don't have open, or if I'm self-employed, I can do my separate aid, or I can do a lot of different other accounts, or individual 401k, or some other individual RA account. So you basically maneuver that certain dollar into the tax deferred. That means you don't pay tax now, but it will grow, 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 eventually grow bigger, and the RS will cut a bigger percentage. So, so it's kind of a good to be deferred, but of course it's sweeter to be tax-free. So that means I pay a tiny little bit income tax, whatever I let it sitting in the bank, and versus now doing here, and now doing here, I'm going to do like a 10, maybe 5,000 into here. So if you do 5,000 into here, your money will never ever be taxed again. So who they are, of course, this is more sweet, right? So we will put them in Ross RA or Ross 401k. If you have a group 401k, they allow you to do Ross 401k. Or you just put Ross RA. Unfortunately, for a couple earn more than 190,000 joint AGI, you cannot do Ross RA anymore. But you can still do conversion. You could convert some of your 401k account or RA account into a Ross RA. That's no income limitation. But again, when you convert, it's taxable today, as this year. So it's kind of painful as well. So basically, as an advisor, what do we do? We teach people how to make their money separate into three pools, instead of just doing one pool. Majority of people I know, they only have this and that. I don't care how educated they are, how achieving they are, how successful they are, a lot of them don't know how to shelter away their sum of their money in there. That's what I'm doing to them every day, in and out. I just tell them, please listen, you, you don't need to do a big chunk of money. You only do a few thousand dollars a year, or you know, depends on your availability or your portability. Then your money gradually, because the time is money, compounding is powerful, your money will be really giant, even you'll do a tiny small saving every year. So, so the first thing I did to myself when I was in my late 20s, when I joined the industry, I did not know the difference between these three, to be honest with you. I was always top A student. I was like a straight A student. Uh, but, but I don't know how to do tax shelter, right? Because um, in China, we teach differently here. 
And then anyway, I was a tax expert supposedly in China, okay? So anyway, so I just did my uh, first Roth IRA as soon as I got my income. But because back then income is low, it's less than 100K, you can do Roth IRA already. And then, of course, I did my first life insurance investment right away as well. So I only support like a half million policy. I, I, I only spend like a $300 or something to do investment. Majority of the 300 goes to the investment, tax shelter forever. So for now, it's about 18 years already. I have quite some cash accumulated there, cash free. Nobody can get a penny from me anymore. So which is kind of sweet, right? So anyway, so we have a lot more things here. Of course, you have a, you know your rental income, your personal income, your CD account, state, uh, your your stock portfolio, mutual portfolio, pretty much everything. Just a pure investment account. It's all here. You or even your uh, even your saving account. You have a small ten ninety nine every year. You have to pay income tax for it, right? It's add on to your tax bracket. And then for tax deferred, most people have have all kinds of 401k, you know, or RRA accounts. Occasionally, you do see people have uh, some bond, um, you know. Uh, occasionally, you see some people have, like, if they are middle or later age or a little bit older, they will have annuity because uh, Nancy did a job saying everybody worry about that's less than outliving my income, right? So if you still live, let's say I'm 85 today. I'm still living, but all my investment pool is empty. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to suicide? Maybe I have to, right? Uh, uh, so, so basically, annuity is something called investment vehicle that can guarantee your lifetime income no matter what. No matter you live to 120 years old or 140 years old, does not really matter. As long as you turn on a lifetime income rider, which is not free, but they guarantee your lifetime income forever guaranteed there. So which is always a higher, never go lower the, the, the guarantee. So that's why I see a lot of clients starting to buy a lot of annuity, but maneuver their RA account, 401k account, or some richer people have individual saving account into annuity. So we do see a lot of that. But I started to see, I would see less than 10 to 20% of people have life insurance protection at the same time tax shelter. So that's why we need a lot of uh, partners to be here to spread the word. This is the good news. A lot of people don't know. I have all kinds of highly, highly educated, very achieving people, really successful. They don't know that. I have just spent hours and hours explaining to them and to ensure them that they're not something lying, it's real. It's a code called the tax code 7702. It's an IS tax code. So all the money, as long as you follow their uh, regulations or their limits or whatever their uh, strings, uh, limitations, you can enjoy that lifetime income even for free. So that means you tax shelter the money in there forever. If you never touch the money, it pass to your children uh, or beneficiaries for income tax free. Or if you say, you know what, I have a lot of money there, I want to use it, that's okay. You use the money forever. But the only thing is, you will make sure your life insurance is always there. That means your life insurance cannot die before you die. Then you can enjoy the cash value forever. No interest, no tax, no anything, but enjoy the money. So that's why it's really powerful knowledge, I think. If you learn a little bit at your spare time, you know, just as a hobby of learning more. You know, we're in our middle, most of it in the middle age or early 20s or 30s, right? So you have a lot more time like I used to be. And you guys may be more like my age, right? So we basically can, you know, can start to learn how to protect our own asset and how to define them in the right way, allocate them in the right way. Then your money will be much more powerful than the people they don't know. So, so that's why we welcome everybody to try to be here. So either learning purpose or eventually you could earn some business as well because you share your knowledge with people, you get paid, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. Just like uh, you have your highly educated background, you just get paid by your employer. That's nothing wrong with that, right? So it's, it's really normal. You deserve it, right? So here, talk about the compounding power. See, you know, most of us are very highly educated, I can tell, right? So you will know the number is the truth. Never lie. Numbers never lie, right? Because we have a CPA and the two accountant. I don't know. Are you an engineer, Rich? Uh, okay. So probably you guys are engineers too? Yeah. So we're all good with numbers, right? So let's see. 5%, okay? If you invest only $1,000, one time lump sum, no more deposit, 
And then 10 years from now, you have 5% every year compounding. 10 years from now, your money will be 1600. And then 30 years will be this, you know, respectively, right? So now let's see huh, how the number difference. If the rule of 72, we can apply that too, okay? So rule of 72, if we use that one, it's really about, uh, you know, 15, it's about 14 to 15 years, money will double, right? So basically, so you will know the double, um, you know, concept as well. And then if it's 10% 10, 10 every year, it's really about seven years, money will double. Every seven years, money will double. So 70 years, your money really like a 10 times, no. I'm sorry. So it should be uh, two. It's like a two seven square, right? Is that that's how you do it? So basically, it's a huge. And we'll say, well, what if I only push myself a little bit more smarter way and earn two percent extra? How much more the money will be? I mean, that really shows the power of um, truth, right? How powerful it is. Let's see how huge a difference it is. 789 jumped to 2.7 million, only 2% extra. So this is powerful, right? If you know how to use your uh, knowledge to, to help your clients or help yourself to get a little bit extra, you know, and your money will be super duper powerful. So why not? So that's why people say, oh, I don't know anything about it. That's why you are here. If you learn a little bit, apply to your own portfolio, you already earn the fortune. Forget about all other business opportunities we are going to conquer, right? So all the people in my industry, when I first joined the industry, all the Caucasian white guys, they will say, you know what, I went to play you know, golf today, and then I closed a $1 million account. Or I, play, I close the two minutes. That back then, I feel like, what the heck? I want that life, you know? So, so basically, normally when we in the industry for over 20 years or over 25 years, all your clients are like a mingle out, having fun, having tea, have golfing, playing, do a lot of a game watching. Then you close the account. Once you close the account, you just get paid, right? So that's why they all have a style. And the funny thing is, all those people work to their deaths. That means they go out either in the 70s or 80s, even as long as their body allows them, they hang out with their friends, with their clients. So they close more accounts. Every time you close the account, you get more money. Just like uh, I just went to a two week vacation with my children and my husband. And then before my vacation, I closed two accounts. During my vacation, I was on cruise, but luckily we bought that Wi-Fi, which cost us about $200 for the Wi-Fi on the cruise. Then I closed another account, which generated another 10000 or 15000 for me. So imagine, so you do this with, without being in somewhere fixed. You can be doing at home or doing somewhere else or on vacation. It does not really matter because nowadays everything is applied online, electronically applied. So it's really, we do DocuSign. So just like the real estate people, we do DocuSign. So it's really simple. Back when I first joined the industry, everything's a hard copy. If you did mess up with one question, you have to redo it. You have to mail to them or, you know. But nowadays, everything's so easy. So that's why we see a lot of people from different industries come to our industry to learn the knowledge, to apply to themselves, and then to apply to other people. At the same time, they have a very good side income. Once they have enough side income, they will quit. Why? Nobody wants to work in the office from 8 to 8 or from 10 to 9, you know? So nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to be watched over day by day. And a, you know, report a job, meetings by meetings. So here, you're just having fun. I always go out, I love to go out with my clients for lunch, because you can just make friends, right? At the same time, you just have the bonding time, and you deliver the policy to them at the same time. So really, all my clients are happy clients because I treat them very rich, but they give me good money too. Of course I will treat them, right? So, so this is a good cycle of life. So that's why all my girlfriends said, well, nowadays you're the only one having such a leisure, but I, but I said I work hard too, honey. But, uh, but basically, you know, I don't have your fixed income, but I just work on my own pace, basically, right? Um, so anyway, so another tax inflation idea. So we, we make a very, a very, very small example so that you have the idea, right? So let's say if a person, I don't care, my money's in bank account, it's safe. 
I don't, I don't, I don't mind, you know. So if you do a hundred dollar in the bank account, you earn three percent. That's dreaming, because most of that one percent or one point two five percent is like a very high interest already. Just assume you get three percent, and then you pay a tax at twenty five percent, which is very low already, because most of the high. Uh, you know, high tech area people like us, we pay very high residual. By the way, if you go to Basel, okay. it's 1902 for the gentleman. 1902, okay? Yeah. And then after tax net, it's only 102. But you apply inflation, your money really less than $100, right? So a lot of older people, which is the baby boomer people, some of them not not really old. They're only like 10 years older than me. So if they were born in 1964, they're not that old yet. And then you're already thinking, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to retire, so, so I do not dare to invest. So they will put the money in the bank account. If that's the case, then money are losing powers, right? So for another, for another example, in order for it to be really break even, you've got to have 5% interest, no matter what you invest. Just remember that. Then that's a takeaway for you guys as well. Remember, you know, if we don't see each other again, just remember all your money got to earn 5%. Otherwise, you're losing money. <laughs> Assuming the inflation only 3.5. Because currently, Nancy also mentioned the debt is 22 trillion already. And every year we have additional 1 trillion national deficit. So if that's the case, do you think the inflation will be low at 3.5 for forever? No, I think it will be really high up to 5%, 6%, 7 or 8%. Like a World War II or World War War, you will see inflation around 10 to 12%. That's nothing really scary, but it's really scary if really applied to all of us. To them, they get used to, because all the money means nothing back then. And, and the funny thing is, oh, everybody says, oh, we're paying a lot of income tax. Actually, our income tax rate is record low almost. If you Google it, just to see income tax um, history, you will see a curve like this. So this, like this. We're here, we're low, we're lucky. So my most concern is, what if back then the high, highest tax bracket is 90%, and now we're only paying 30, 40%, right? So what if, what if when we retire, so we have a losing power already, all our money in 401k pool, let's say in 401k, and I have to withdraw the money to sustain my life. Then the tax bracket jump into 80% or, even, or 70 or 60%. That really, does not really matter because we're saving 30 or 40% now to put in the 401k, but it's compounding, growing big like a monster later, right? Later on, when we pull out, every penny we pull out, we have to pay 90% or 70% interest. Do you think we were dumb? We were dumb, right? So that's why I started to tell my husband, because he's self-employed, I'm self-employed. I can do group 401k, I can do individual 401k, I can go separately. So between me and him, we can shelter away like a 200k easily or 300k. It's, it's really good for self-employed people, right? As a CPA, you know that, right? But but if I shelter way too much when I retire, let's say I have between him and me, I have 10 million to withdraw from the 401k. Then I'll be really crying every day. So I told him, forget about doing this. We will do regular like all other people do. Let's shelter with more money to that last pool. So we do a lot of money shift into that pool so that all the money are separate from my eyes forever. I will never pay any penny to RS anymore. I will money shelter in that pool. So that is why strategy have to change. If you do not know, you just don't know. If you know, you have to do a little bit better job for yourself, for your client. That's our responsibility, how to share the news with the clients so clients can benefit along with your knowledge, right? So anyway, another very common thing, so we all know market go up and down. That's the nature of the business and nature of the economy, right? So we're at record high already. I keep telling all my clients, or all my listeners, because sometimes I do challenge radio talk, and then I just I just tell them how dangerous this is right now. You know, if your money or hundred percent exposed to mutual fund or stock market, you are going to be crying. That's a done deal already. I just don't know if it's this year, or next year, or the year after. But your money shrink is normal because it's overdue already. Just like earthquake is overdue, right? So if earthquake comes in my rest of my life, I'm prepared because I know it will come. 
just like now, if the market crash, have financial crisis, I'm prepared too because that's just something already overdue, right? So, so basically, just be prepared. If your money, let's say you have a one million portfolio right now, right? Or could be any number. Okay, just make it e easy for calculation. You have one million. Suddenly, you have fifty percent down. Right? You only have half a million now. So in order you to climb back, you got to earn another 100%, which is half a million jump back to one million. This is something you know, people do not relate to their own portfolio, unfortunately. But it's really painful. Just like the 2008, 2009 downturn, most of the people lo lose like more than one third of the portfolio, right? Some of them lost maybe about half of the portfolio. A lot of people joking say, oh, my 401k now is 201k, right? So have you ever heard about that joke? 401k continue to 201k. So, so that means we do not want to ever go through this downturn hurt. hurt. I mean, for those people, they are young, they don't have a lot of portfolio. If they lose 50%, they are not losing the world yet because they have so much time to catch up later. But for us, it's, you know, I cannot afford to lose 50%. If I lose 50%, I cannot retire in my 50s. Right? My, gain, my, my goal is I want to retire anytime after 50 as much as I wish. You know? uh, so, so basically, you, know, you just, uh, if you need a code, please. Yeah, one line open. Yeah, you got it. Good memory. <laughs> so, so anyway, so you just want to make sure that your portfolio are protected, but at the same time, do not see the bank only. You do something strategically. You have good guaranteed growth, but no downturn hurt. That's very popular product lines right there, right now. People all be familiar with. If you don't know where they are, find a time to talk to the people inviting you over. They will share with you. Just ask them, what things I can do invest now? Only have upturn, but no downturn. Just to ask them, they will, they will answer you properly. Of course, they will do a personal financial strategy for you based on your financial overall situation. So that's what we do. I'm sure who, whoever invites you, they can do the same thing. For you as well so anyway so just remember that painful thing we try to avoid the pain okay and it, we, when we do financial needs analysis uh, that's you know I, actually i'm a certified financial planner um you know too uh, unfortunately we do like a five courses a three-year experience like a cpa right and you have to sit on board exam for one half day i was pregnant with my son so i couldn't do the boarding exam so I did not get the official title for CFP, but I'm always using CFP. So CFP, you know, certified financial planner. So if we do for people, we always make sure, you know, the whole portfolio, um, whole strategy, not only selling you one product or set up one investment account for you. That's not what we do. We do is we want to make sure your cash flow looks healthy. You know, if not healthy, how to suggest you to make it relatively healthy, you know, to, to change it here, change it there a little bit. And then, of course, we always ask people to have enough emergency fund because your money has to be there if emergency happens, right? So three to six months minimum of your income will be there for emergency expenses. Uh, some people are more conservative or the children too young, we suggest 12 months. So that's very common. And of course, uh, you know, we had to uh, make sure that assets are well allocated in different category and a different tax strategy as well. So we basically help them to make sure to handle the inflation at the same time have good growth, things like that. And uh, we do have a professional money management for people too, if they need to. And they always, always talk about the asset preservation, means we got to do SD planning. So a lot of people have a wrong concept. They say, SD planning is for rich people only. No, it's not. SD planning even for young folks like you guys. Because as young guys, you do not care, you know? But sometimes you should care because what if, just imagine you were gone yesterday already. Your mom and dad, how can they live? How do they know how to clear your, you know, clear up your, all your accounts? What happened? or you, your personal belongings, right? Some of the parents, they really try so hard, lifetime effort, try to raise us up, right? Send us to the best school. And then if they are suddenly heard that you are gone forever, permanently, then they will be drive nuts, they will be crazy. Some of the parents will be crazy, right? So you have to make sure you have some sort of uh, uh, portfolio there for them as well. Even as a term life insurance, it won't maybe cost you only like a few dollars a day. 
maybe it's just a one cup of coffee a day, and you will give them easily reserved half money or one money policy for them. So that's something you could consider even as you as young, very young age, because I did not know insurance at all when I was doing all this education thing. But the first first thing I learned is I need to buy life insurance just in case God calling me, let me go, and then I have to leave something behind to my dear parents, right? Mom, my, my, my dad have very good business, but business is always up and down sometimes, right? So even if it does not need my money, but the thing is I want to leave something, if there's some tragedy will happen to me, it happens every day. We just do not believe it's happening to me, right? But you gotta be prepared. That's why in Chinese talking, we said, um, we gotta be prepared with the wine, um, good or bad, we gotta be prepared, right? Uh, so you have one heart only, but you always prepared for the good and the bad at the same time. So that's a Chinese uh, saying we always see. So anyway, so you got to make sure if you have a house, you got to have a living trust. If you have your minor children, you got to have a living trust. If you don't even have any, but make sure all your investment accounts have a beneficiary designed. So that way, if something will happen to you, it's, it's easy. Otherwise, the California estate de declare process, which is called, um, um, it, it will normally six months to 12 months easily. And they have to appoint a lawyer to you, which you don't know that lawyer at all, will easily cost you another three to four or even $5,000. Because um, I have clients passed away, and now many of them, they, each one of them have to do some sort of uh, unfortunate tears process even they were trying to be prepared already but they were not never hundred percent prepared um, so um, so um, you know of course pr protection is the most important thing right you got to protect pr protect you so you know we all have cars right we, we buy car insurance we protect our car and protect the people getting involved with accident which is not even ourselves sometimes right we do protect ourselves but we do protect other people more why don't you protect yourself? You have to. You got to protect yourself with some disability insurance. Make sure if you were not able to uh, perform your job anymore, you still have consistent income to sustain your family's needs, right? You got to have life insurance to protect you. Well, now this life insurance not only protect you as a life, life gone, they also protect you with a long, like a critical illness or terminal illness or long-term care situation. You could claim the death benefit already when you are still alive. So that's something really new for the last seven years in the industry. So it really costs you very tiny little bit of money, but you got the whole world of benefit protect you. So that is why I say it's such a no-brainer. If you tell to the client, if they don't have insurance, just buy a term with all those um, living benefits such as disability, critical illness, long-term care, disability, uh, and a critical terminal illness, you can always claim already. That happens to a lot of people already, unfortunately. Um, you know, um, and of course we occasionally run into a couple of people. You know, they have a debt problem. You know, they have credit card balances. Then we can help them to consolidate their debt to transfer from some company have a you know little bit lower charge on them. So basically, you know, as a financial advisor, we really try to do a whole uh, map of design and the leading and the really guidance to them. So it's really, eventually it will be rewarding because all your clients will tell you everything about their lifestyle, everything about their money, everything, really, literally everything. So because of that intimacy, you will make a very deep relationship, friendship with them, and the clientship lifetime. That's the most rewarding thing to me because I'm a person who has a very good heart in general. <clears throat> I love to hear people's problem at the same time give them a solution. So it's a very rewarding feeling. You're not only earning money, you're doing people's problem, dealing with them, going through the process with them, and you feel like you're achieving something more than the money can buy for you. So that's why I think I was meant to be a financial you know, advisor. Even I did not did not know what it was. Uh, all my girlfriends are looking at me and like, give me a break. I'm not going to be a financial advisor. Turns out I'm a good financial advisor. So it's kind of funny how life treats you, right? So anyway, so 
today basically we talk about that. And of course, we want to uh, emphasize we are an agency that we are all individual brokers. We use this platform to really submit the business to all those high-end companies. So company here, we have a couple of hundred companies. They are really mainly for insurance, annuity stuff. You know, they are like those companies. Today, Pacific Life, the regional VPs here are talking about their product, new updates to us. And of course, Transamerica bought WFG, but Transamerica is just one company we do business with. They are not our parent. They are not our company we do business solely with. We only do a small portion of money with this company, okay? And then, of course, WFG is an agency that we are all individual uh, contractors. Every company we submit business with, they give us 1099. So if you get 1099, you can deduct a lot of things. We all know, right? You can deduct your mileage, you can deduct your business meals, you can deduct your vacations, you know? So pretty much, you can deduct a lot. And the good thing is the WFG have platform allow us to build a team, not only within USA, but also in China. I'm mean, sorry, in Canada. So Canada, we have a Indian palace. So a group of people in Toronto area, Montreal and Toronto area, oh my God, the Indian people are like are so unified over there. They have like, a, they have like, a, they are going to, uh, going to go to uh, Las Vegas to catch an convention, annual convention in uh, beginning of August. I heard that they are already signed up like 10,000 people. Only that group only signed up 10,000 people. Of course, this company, San Jose office, is a top one comp uh, office, like a branch. We have so many branches, right? This office is a branch, number one branch of in terms of production. But we may not be having so much number of people, right? So because of highly educated people in Silicon Valley, a lot of people choose different uh, you know, industry, right? But in other countries, uh, or other regions, they will have a lot of rewarding jobs, right? They will just do more, you, you never know. So basically, that's what, all these companies are like a high-end clients only. So that means you're gonna have several million or multi-million platform, then they will open account for you. So that's this kind of company. But because we are such a giant agency, they allow us to do business with them, like a fingertips, very simple. I mean, of course, here it's all mutual fund companies. Of course, we have a couple of selling, uh, couple of hundred companies as well, right? So we, we do the mutual funds for clients. I mean, here it's some partners. This net law is really you can do living trust through their website. You know, if you go to a, a lawyer to do a living trust, normally you will spend two thousand dollar or anywhere fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred for living trust. But here you could only spend very little to do it. And here is for final uh, settlement. The, if a person passed away, they are doing your funeral package, things like that. So, so basically here is more like a, 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 a one of them is doing, one of them is doing the financial for children's uh, college education planning partnership. So they can do this uh, application for you. So really, it's really leverage on big company. So nowadays, for the new trend of this century, if you want a big player, you just have to play as a team. You do not play by yourself. If you play by yourself, you never can conquer the whole world. If you play as a greater team, everybody chip in some effort, and then you make it huge, and then you are really going to uh, tag along very easily. Everybody rise together, basically. So that is why I'm in the in industry for you know about 18 years now, right? I tag along with this system for two and a half years by now. So it's really simple for me. Um, you know, I can still do whatever I'm, I was doing, but I can tag along here to business here. Just like you guys, you can do whatever you are doing, you tag along to learn something, and then same, same energy, right? So you could have uh, could have uh, do like that. Um, of course, you know, today we, we really thankful for spending the time with us. It's really up to you to choose any option you feel like. You know, of course, there's the option zero too, right? You do nothing, you just walk away with this office, and then nothing happened. So that's option zero. I would consider. Or option one is whoever invited over, ask them to consider do a financial strategy planning for you. So you may figure out something you are missing. You're missing a hole here, missing a hole there. Let them to help you to patch the hole. So that way you could be the client, right? And then they can they can do a sorrow. Uh, um, you know, free overall financial planning for you, and then buy something, 
you know, to, to fill in the hole. Or you could choose that, well, I do have a very good job or have a job not, not very satisfying or I want to push myself to do more in this lifetime. And then you could have getting some uh, a member. So you be our member, which is only $100 to be a student code, give you a student code. Of course, you have to make sure you have no bad record in terms of legal wise. You never have a cheating record or bankruptcy sometimes is okay, but within will definitely go through the screening for a person. No criminal record, um, no uh, you know um, felony or things like that. So we could grant you a student code. You can come here like uh, all people there doing quarter to product training, uh, skillful training, and all the training we do could be um, financial uh, classes for all those kind of areas. And then for business uh, classes too, we teach people how to deal with people, how to be doing presentation, how to speak publicly, how to do uh, a proper way of, uh, you know, even talking to your spouse or to your children. So we teach a lot here, which is really, really um, helpful. I think it's no matter what age group you are. So I think it's very beneficial. Um, beyond the reason, a lot of people come here just for the learning and not necessarily for the business. They say $100 is nothing. I get unlimited attaining all the classes for free, so it's really useful. And so that's why, you know, if you just study the class, you love it, you figure out a way to get licensed, which is normally uh, licensing a class, about $25 online class. You know, you spend one or two months to finish it, pass the exam, and then you do a fingerprint, because uh, this industry is the most uh, regulated industry because we're dealing with people's money, right? And the, all the identity, all the social security number, everything. We know everything about them. So we have to make sure we always do fingerprint. Even for my assistant, every assistant has to do fingerprint as well. So you, you basically go through all this, maybe cost you total about two or three hundred dollars, you will get everything set. So if you are considering running a side business, this is the cheapest business you can do. No overhead no any other operational cost, just that licensing related fee. And then you come here to learn and how to benefit yourself and benefit others at the same time. So like I said, a lot of people are starting here as a part-timer. Um, I have a lady, she's uh, working, her last job was a Samsung. She was an you know, engineer manager title. And then she came here, she already earned more than uh, 200K back then. And then she, she just did it here. She earned quickly around 200K also. She quit her job. And then she even returned her signing bonus with Samsung. So, you know, because when you, when you come in with a higher end, you get a low gain with a signing bonus. But if you re, uh, leave them within one year or two year window, you have to return the money. So she did that. Another lady, um, she was working in Wall Street before, and then she worked in Apple as a full-time financial analyst. And then she had three babies, and then um, she just found out Wall Street is all Caucasian people's world. Uh, it's not that great. She was pregnant, so pregnant, almost delivering time. She still had to travel to Hong Kong. Uh, you know, and, and of course, uh, she later on transferred to San Francisco. She was uh, having a huge car accident, and she thought she couldn't live anymore. She would lose her life. But turns out she, she was lucky enough. She did not get hurt so badly. So anyway, she realized life is so short. And then why would I work for other people like uh, no end? And of course, we're all excellent people to start with, right? If we're excellent, we deserve something better than just study or working for other people. Uh, if you want to earn 100K, you got to generate more than 100K before your employer pay you 100K. If you want to earn half a million, you got to generate more than half 